All right, now on to a housing battle of sorts in Marin County. So this one has to do with dozens of so-called anchor outs living out in the middle of Richardson Bay. The county says they are there illegally and wants them to move back to dry land in the next three years. Our Brian Hackney caught up with an artist who lives on one of these floating homes. My father used to bring me over here when I was a kid. And then one time later on, I came over and I saw a guy walking down from the houseboat dock. And I said, you know, that's what I want to do. I want to, I want to be one of those guys. Houseboats are usually moored to a dock. That's a $3 million boat. But when you live in an anchor out, you need a boat just to get to your boat. The view is the greatest. It's a lifestyle enjoyed by about 70 people off Sausalito. There's this freedom. It, it makes me feel alive. And how much rent do you pay? No, I don't pay any rent. That's a pretty unique... Uh... That's a, yes, it's the real last free ride. <laughs> this is actually Stephen Errett's art studio. This is great. That's the canvas? That's the canvas. And for inspiration... Ha ha! Wow! <laughs> this is breathtaking. You yeah. can see why he's lived out here since 1972. After more than 50 years, you're not planning on making any changes. Uh, not if I don't have to. <laughs> but he just might. Camera's back. Around the time Stephen first moved in, law enforcement tried to move them out. You're under arrest. The houseboat wars pitted anchor outs against developers. When the sheriff came out and they were beating people up, it got ugly. The developers won? The developers won. 50 years on, there's a new push to scour Richardson Bay of the boats, saying they're damaging eel grass. In three years, this lifestyle might come to an end. Wow. You got everything you need on this houseboat. Yeah. Bedroom? That's it up there, and office. That's my office, too. The bathroom's in here. How do you get electricity? Uh, I make it myself with solar panels and windmill. Television? I only get a couple of channels, but, uh, you know. What's it like on a wild and stormy night? Rocking and rolling. In fact, Stephen's boat sank in a storm 20 years ago. He got it floating again, funding the job, by selling some art. It's so subtle. That's what he does for a living. Create art with his colleague Cynthia Franco up in Sebastopol. That looks pretty good there. This partnership works. Yeah. It's great. It's, it's amazing, really. They create some beautiful art, but it seems as if Stephen is never on dry land for long. Hey, there's a little bird. You got pets. Yeah, I got pets. Well, I remember the first time I saw you. Steve doesn't seem too worried this may all be coming to an end. Well, you know, it doesn't do any good to worry. <laughs> Maybe that's yeah. because he can't imagine living like you and I do. You ever get lonely out here? No. Really? No. I know it's water, but this is where I really feel grounded. I'd like to stay out here till, uh, you know, till I uh, pass on. The Marin Housing Authority just approved a voucher program which would help 17 anchor outs find housing on dry land.